Hello, okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a tempo map in Logic X, okay? So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to uh, go to this area here. This is called the Global Tracks area, just here. So yeah, you can create new tracks here um, or just duplicate the one you already have. Um, but this is the guy we want to look at. So this expands out all of our global tracks, all right? So um, what I tend to do is get rid of some of these because it can make your session look a bit cluttered and become quite confusing. So um, I don't actually know anybody that uses the arrangement um, global track, so I've never used it before. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So I do that by right clicking or control clicking on that and then clicking on it or unchecking it. Right, there he goes. Um, and same goes for signature. I've never really logged that in a session before. I can imagine maybe it might be useful if you've got lots of time signature changes. Um, but as far as key signatures are concerned, I don't really see the benefit, but maybe one of you can enlighten me. Right, maybe for sharing a session, maybe. Um, yeah, and you want to show somebody what key you're in. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, okay, so you can click on that, right click on that and get rid of him as well. Now with um, audio visual uh, stuff I tend to keep the, the marker global track open. I like to have markers in my session just to know where I am. Okay cool, right so this is really simple guys. Um, so if you wanted to do a hard edit in your uh, tempo map it's just as simple as clicking and dragging up and down to any specific tempo that you might want. Um, now, what a lot of people don't know, however, is you can do ramps in your uh, in your tempo map. So, what you can actually do is create these gradual um, ramps. So you could do uh, it, do it in a way where it decreases in tempo quite uh, quickly and then evens out slowly, or you could do it the other way. Or, you know, most commonly you can just have it as a, you know, a gradual and straight um, decline in tempo. Um, or you could do it the other way. You have a straight incline in tempo. So I don't know if you saw, but it kind of it kind of clicks into place for you. So that's when you know you're you've got an, an equal um, ratio of of incline there and decline here. Alright guys, so that's um that's it really. Um, quite simple.